Hi, it's Brendan here with another Wilcom quick tip. In this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how you can build your own team name design templates. Now, team name design template is a great way to create a layout of a design with text that you think you might use quite often and save it away as a predefined template that you can use in the future for new clients. Here's an existing design I've got with a basketball, a name at the top, a number in the middle, and a name at the bottom. And with team names, you can swap that out with different names and numbers in a single file, which is great for sports teams, clubs, or uniforms. And I'm gonna show you how to make this template design. First of all, start a new window and import whatever design elements you wanna to have to create your logo or design. Now in this example, I've got this uh, soccer ball, and I wanna create a template that has a first name at the top, a second name or last name at the bottom, and a number on top of the soccer ball in the center here. Now just using your normal everyday standard tools, you create your lettering on screen. Now the important part to remember is when you create a lettering object for a team name template, you can't include any spaces because the system will recognize the space as being a different name and make each of them editable. So in this case, if I want the first name to go over the top as a whole name, I simply put in the text first name with outer space. Then I can position that, I can change the color of that text. I've got access to all my properties to go set all the layout and setting options I want for this uh, design. And of course you can change font and other settings as well. Okay, now I'll create a second name. So I'll copy that object, copy paste, and I'll drag that down the bottom. And I'll change the value to be last name. And to change my base line to, uh, my base line to arc in the other direction. And finally, I need my number on the top. So I'll grab the front and I'll just put 22. And I might make that be navy, position that in the middle, and just make sure I've got that set to center, which I do. Um, navy's not too good, so I might actually make it be the same red as well, so it stands out a little bit more. And that's the end of my design. Now, of course, I need to auto start end in the center. And finally, when I'm finished, to save that away as a team name template, I go up to File, Save as Team Name Template Design. It will automatically path to your Team Name Template Designs folder. Give it a name. So I'll call this uh, Soccer Template 1. Click Save. And then next time in the future, when I think I'd like to use that design again, I can just start a brand new window open up my team names docker from this team names icon up the top here, click on designs, and my new layout will be here ready for me to use. I can bring it in, click over to the team name list and start filling in the details. So, Brendan Prasna 78, and then press G to generate that. Then I can create my additional names. Rob Smith, 32. And that's how easy it is to create your team name design templates.